As I tell my students, warning labels should be applied because it is addictive. Being able to be outside in fresh air, in nature, to paint the subjects I love doesn't get any better than that. So I'm a big believer in painting from observation. And if you're going to paint the landscape, the only way to do that is to be outside or looking out a window. So being outside lets me get right in front of the subject and get connected to it. And I think that's one of the things that, in particular, plein air landscape painting can do for people is reconnect them with the things that they've gotten disconnected from. Painting a subject is about falling in love with the subject. The act of observation, looking again and again and again and again, helps you to know the subject better. One of the things that I love is going back to the same subject over and over again and looking at the changes. So different seasons, different times of day, different weather makes the whole painting look different. And it does become like a visual diary. There's no such thing as the perfect subject. I'm looking for interesting forms and shapes. That's what draws me in. It's not a logical decision, it's a gut decision. Paint where you are rather than where you think you should be. Because you can always find something interesting to paint if you look closely enough. You know, the more you look, the more you see, and the more you see, the more you'll see. You keep peeling back those layers because I think that's one of the things that our plugged in digital world has stopped us from doing. And I love computers and I love all the tech accoutrements, but when we stop looking at the world around us, we lose something, something really big.